Hello and welcome to my F1 22 driving career mode. Here today for the Austrian Grand Prix, the first sprint race of the series and season. Because we didn't do we didn't go team a lot. So as we come now to the end of qualifying we had a blue shocker and we're going to be starting the sprint P19. I've decided as we were starting at the back to do take a brand new engine but it was at this point that I completely forgot about the rules um, regarding sprint and how the penalties don't apply to the race on Sunday at this point I didn't realise let's go to the sprint so it is all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. And the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Perez, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Magnussen, and Daniel Ricciardo, Vettel, Mick Schumacher, Lando Norris, and Gasly, Joe, Albon, Lance Stroll, and Yuki Tsunoda, Brown, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We will soon find out. The moment I saw Hamilton was on the front row of a penalty, I knew I messed up in this race. So, it's a 12 lap shootout. We're going to be starting last for the race, but we've got to go for it. As the light to go out, and Lewis Hamilton gets a good start in the background. We and to try and go to the inside and we don't really make gain many positions from that as that we head up we've gained no positions the Williams is still behind us as we send it down the inside into turn turn three but really it's only turn two and gain some positions there as now riding on board that is large strong ahead of us and we're gonna send it now inside of strongly really hit the Alpatari and we do get to McLaren as well as if the up the road here is Pete Gasly the trust in ahead Pete Gasly's oversteered into the gravel and we've nearly made contact with him and we do get that position and now we're on the back of the pass the Vettel as we send it to the inside at turn one we have gained a bunch of positions at the start here as here is Madsen go wheel to wheel with Bottas and out to turn three and Magnussen slowing down and Magnussen is out of the Austrian Grand Prix sprint so that's not good for him because we are absolutely gunning for P8 in this sprint because that's where we get points as we do a very dodgy move down with Schumacher send it go off the track with Schumacher comes back at us but we found a very very nice line through the final two corners I think that was perfect as now we go a bit wide with Schumacher we kind of got stuck now which is annoying because I was pushing so hard to get in to the top 8 because I knew we'd be starting last so that's pretty much it, Mac, it does overtake us by coming to the end of the sprint and Lewis Hamilton wins the sprint his first win if you can class it as a win of the season it's going to be signed second and Verstappen third and we can only manage P11 
Good afternoon and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or the other has held every Austrian Grand Prix in the championship except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost the bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. It's a short lap here in Spielberg with just 10 corners, seven to the right and three to the left, making up a total distance of 2.6 miles. I expect to see a lot of the cars running wide today, especially through the last corner as the wet conditions make the car skittish through the downhill sections. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Fernando Alonso, Valtteri Bottas, and Ricardo, Mick Schumacher, Hamilton, Stroll, and Sebastian Vettel, Verstappen, Albon, Pierre Gasly, and Sonoda, Latifi, Joe, Carlos Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty, and Lando Norris. Brown and Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills is Anthony Davidson. Ant, great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today and how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. So the rain has come down in Austria, and it's our first wet race of the career mode. Let's get into it then. It's going to be a tricky one. Hamilton is going to the back after their sprint fortunes and it's lights out and away we go everyone just trying to find the grip at the start and we we're into the inside in the sprint we're doing the outside in the race and we have gone round the outside of absolutely everyone we're side by side there with Sebastian Vettel have we got the Aslin who looks like it yes we have and now Everyone is so hard to see where, it, where everyone is with the spray and now we can see from last place how many places we have gained we side by side there with the Verstappen <coughs> as we send it like we did in the sprint on Stroll and and Ricardo as Hamilton's in the mix as well Stroll up the road then we have had an unbelievable start to this Austrian Grand Prix to in a very dodgy mood we have into turn one off the track but we were battling Stroll as Lewis Hamilton now we go off the track there was no grip whatsoever as we went wide a little bit there but we were just biding our time trying to get past Lance Stroll but we forced the mistake as he locks up into turn one and we finally get that position off the Canadian and now he's coming under threat from the seven time world champion Lewis Hamilton round the outside of turn three and does he get the exit we rather looks like he has but Stroll still keeping a nose in and Stroll's on the straight line speed to come back at the Mercedes Lewis going to hold up around the outside this has gone very right in the past but Lewis Hamilton holds it around the outside and gets the job done on Lance Stroll and it would have been long before our fellow Brit would be having a look at us and our P8, P7 in this race as he went a little bit wide there and Lewis Hamilton doesn't need a second invitation and it gets passes them through where you never really see an overtake there as Lewis nearly drops it there going into the final corner 
Now the task is just to stick with him as Nicholas Latifi from Stone Dead Last has a massive engine failure and such a shame as he was on for such a good result in last place. Check your MFD for a new strategy as option. it is time for the intermediate tyres and thank you Mark telling us that it's time on literally the final corner we just had time to turn into the pits and put on the intermediate tyres if that was Jeff last year we would have waited till we are around the final corner but Mark has his head screwed on it seems this year and now this is time to just get these tyres up to temperature and see if there, there is a big performance gap between the winters and the wets but the, the drivers at the front so Charles, George, uh, Fernando and Lewis they aren't pitting they are trying to I think as you can see him and Schumacher on Joe Granu they're trying to get these wets to to go the distance to her on slicks I think but they don't have the the overall grip but Lewis Hamilton comes out of the pits he's finally made the stop onto Inters and we are nowhere to be seen as you can see these finally Fernando has pitted for the Inters but there's still drivers you see here McLaren of Lando are still on the wet tyres but now on lap 12 the performance is really starting to kick in and you can see there the wets have no grip now so they have pretty much taken themselves out of this Grand Prix then in a way as this is Yuki Sonoda these are still on the wets of course as Mid Schumacher nearly made contact we get held up by Joan Kwan Yu and they have finally made the switch onto the dry tyre onto the intermediate tyres and now it's just like it was in the sprint we are hunting down Mick Schumacher but not before we were caught by Max Verstappen who thinks about it to the inside of us and you can see the spray as Mark once again had, has his head screwed on and tells us that he's ready for the tries as we're at the final corner yet again as we time up to perfection as well to turn in but we're going to go to the mediums I wasn't too sure there was still a lot to spray and the track did not feel ready for the dry tyres and there was zero grip when um, we nearly put it in the barrier when I first came out onto the track no grip whatsoever but if this pace does continue as Carlos Sainz had that penalty and he now has on to the softs and surely those soft tyres aren't going to go to the end there's not really any point in me fighting but Mr Sainz has caught Mr Verstappen and they're side by side and Sainz has done him round the outside these two were about to have a great battle in the real life Austrian Grand Prix until Sainz's engine decided to blow up the side by side Max falls to the outside again but this time it looks like he may have the straight line speed that Red Bull is mighty in the straight line but Sainz yet again forces him the long way round but that time on the exit Carlos Sainz is done but down the inside again these two are going at it they've been side by side pretty much this entire lap oh 10 corners nearly as through the blind right handle they're still side by side they're still side by side and Sainz does finally get the position 
and the Stepping Step decided to fall back and we were catching the battle very very quickly as we go for the overtake of the Stepping keep the place balls off the racetrack and I think if that's real life there's a penalty coming my way but as you can see Max here as we go a little bit wide he tries down the inside and kicks up some grass and nearly takes himself out of it and me but here he goes this time he does get us and my head decided there wasn't really much point it was fun whilst it lasted and now maybe we could have a go again and you know if we had to face that Red Bull I was sending it down the inside there without second thinking it but here is Lance Stroll and Lance Stroll has had a puncture just like Sergio Perez and Silverstone last time out Lance Stroll was on the curb so looks like the curb has basically blown up his front right tyre and that that wouldn't even mean a fully loaded tyre again so punctures on the wrong side so it's quite clear that the curb has caused that puncture but Carlos Sainz pitted again had to go through the traffic again lovely Ferrari strategy again taking him out of it because he was way up the road from Max Verstappen we are on our own after that the sun has come out and now Carlos Sainz is trying to get past us into town what for there's yellow flags because something has happened to Mick Schumacher but this room P8 run for our best result of the season so far and after the difficulties of Canada and Baku I really want this result as science went wide and Bottas has overtaken him and this is what happened then to Mick Schumacher he dropped it on the exit of turn, for, of turn 4 and now onto the final lap there's just two more overtaking places and Bottas to the inside at turn 3 we are going to hold it round the outside we get the exit but we don't really have the straight line speed and break them directing there the worst camera angles Bottas tries to the inside and Sainz now has had a little look and now Sainz can he go around the outside he's gonna think about it and he he's still there Sainz have fully butt out but he is still there they're side by side and Sainz does really overtake Bottas Bottas has tried to get one move and is lost it's out in the end but we are going to come round the final corner for our best result of the season for P8. Mm. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the Styrian Alps. Talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again.
so it's a no win for Charles who really is starting to have a firm grip on this championship now but podium for George and Perez and the two Canadians at the back Latifi retiring but the main thing we get our best result of the season in P8 Fernando also having a strong race you can see the gap now to George Russell in P2 in the championship 52 points the gap in terms of the instructors we are still fighting it out with Alfa Romeo and that will go on to the next race in Spa after the summer break but I hope you enjoyed this video very changeable conditions can't believe after the uh, after the end it was sun sun was out and after the conditions you see on the screen now but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe we head to spa next for the belgium grand prix and hopefully we can build on this momentum from austria goodbye